In 2008, a Swedish multinational company called Telia Sonera acquired 80% stake in Ancel. That's also when Nepali investors had owned 20% share in the company. This part of share has been traded multiple times, where a handful of local investors may have made huge profits. But the government seems unaware of sale prices and transactions. Our findings show the local investors had presented a much lower share price to Nepal's authorities. But the deals involved huge payments offshore for the shares. By 2012, Ancel became a highly lucrative company. Subscribers increased from 1.9 to 7.1 million. And net sales grew from 22 to 417 million US dollars just in four years. But shares were traded at the price of 2008. In March 2012, Nepali businessman Upendra Mahato bought the shares for 200 million rupees. Tax officials assessed the sales price was in tune of 3.31 billion rupees or more than 16 times higher. Nine days later, Mahato sold the shares for 250 million rupees, for which he only paid 12.5 million rupees in taxes. But the tax authority challenged the price and ordered him to pay more taxes, claiming that the price was supposed to be 3.36 billion rupees. The offshore trading price of the same shares is about 75 times more than the price recorded to the tax office. Non-resident Nepali businessman Niras Govinda Shrestha received a loan from Telia to buy these shares. The loan was never transferred to Nepal and never paid back. Shrestha sold his shares in 2016 and paid 2.8 billion rupees in taxes. But the tax authority challenged the price and claimed it was 36 billion rupees or over three times higher. The tax office assessed his taxes and ordered him to pay a further 6 billion rupees. This was not the end of the OPEC deals in Encel shares. We have found evidence to suggest Malaysian telecoms giant Exeta may have secretly financed shares reserved for Nepali nationals. Bhavana Singh Sreshta bought the 20% shares from Niraj Govinda Sreshta and Exeta acquired the remaining 80% shares from Telia. But the money from the 20% shares may have come from Exeta itself. We have found Exeta had made payments to an offshore company connected to Satishla Lacharya, husband of Bhavana Singh Sreshta. The payment took place a few weeks before Sreshta signed an agreement with Exeta to acquire stakes of Ansel in Nepal. In another share deal, Acharya was paid by Exeta in Cambodia a few months before the Exeta Telia deal in Nepal. Exeta has denied to us that it financed Sunivera to buy and sell shares. However, many details remain unexplained. Former Acting Auditor General Sukadev Bhatrai Khatri told us. The government needs to open up the file on Ansel's share transactions and dig into it thoroughly.